Dear friends and comrades, welcome back to Let's Play Workers and Resources, where we started the layout of our little city, but it's not yet operational. Uh, there's uh, one big component missing, and that's going to be the project for today at least, and that is power supply. Now, we are in the progress of building up um, our own power plant, and we do have a coal mine here that needs to be supplied with workers and... We do have a coal ore processing plant. Ah, construction. I was about to, like, why is it running without issues? But it's not even finished, yeah. They're being constructed here. And uh, construction here as well. Very good. Okay, so what we do need is uh, some power supply. Wow. That's a great wallpaper. Maybe I'll need to exchange. That's a mod. Um, kindergarten. I didn't zoom in there. That looks a little, a little awkward, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll exchange that one for a prettier one. But yeah, once one thing after the other. Anyway, so we do need power supply. Um, now the way this works here in uh, workers and resources is, let's go to the infrastructure and check out. We do have high voltage and we do have medium voltage. Uh, the high voltage is for transferring it over long distances, right? just like in real life. Um, so you have high voltage wires that you need to uh, connect, like for example, to the border to buy power from our socialist neighbors. <clears throat> or if we wanna like have a city over here between the lakes, maybe uh, we would bring power there with a high voltage line um, and then uh, transform it down to medium voltage and then further transform it down to a distributable 220 volts. It's in our country, or 230 volts rather. Uh, I think in America it's 110 volts, but yeah. To the usual household voltage. Um, yeah, I'm gonna swallow my x cores on how that works and why that is. Just keep in mind that uh, high voltage is cheaper to transfer over the wires. That's why you do all that. Okie Uh So, we do have... Let's select... And I'm going to go for these 15 megawatt high voltage wires. Um, and we do have, as we zoom in our unfinished power plant, we do have two connectors where we can bring those. Um, but we also need a connection to the border. So what I want to do is uh, install a high voltage switch. Uh, somewhere around here, maybe. Not too far away, because we do need um, we do need road access to that thing for the in case a fire breaks out. That's what I learned so far. Uh, you, all the all the buildings that have a road access should also get road access, no matter how far they are away or whatever. But if they catch a fire, the fire department needs to be able to reach it. I think here is a good spot for it, for starters anyway. Okay, let's build it here. And uh, now the first thing we need to do is connect this here thing to our power plant. Uh, okay. Maybe not. Why doesn't it work? Connect this here. Okay, now it works. There we go. Okay, so now it's connected to our power plant. Now we have two more connectors. Um, we're gonna bring you up here. And then over here along the hill. And now we need to reach the border with that. Because for starters we're gonna buy power, but as soon as our power plant is operational, we're gonna, of course, sell it. And have a little bit of cash. Okay. Well, let's just draw it along the sea here. Um, yeah, maybe here I'm gonna go manually. It's not too ugly. Just have one here. And of course, we need two here. Of course, the angle is too steep. Why wouldn't the angle be too steep? Why wouldn't it be? Maybe we go like uh, so. Maybe here. Ah, whatever. Um, and by the way, the cost of these things is enormous. If you have uh, if you have a high voltage line. I don't know the English word. In German you call it Trasse, like these uh, high voltage lines. 
every mast that you put here costs you 2000 so yeah uh, that is due to them using can i see that when we're moving out no it only shows the money it will cost but uh, they need a lot of steel and steel is very expensive so uh that's why they are so expensive okay so uh that's that now we need a power transformer i think medium voltage we could switch it but yeah we need a power transformer um i'm gonna bring the power transformer up here a little bit outside from our city um maybe like so the idea being that we have a high voltage line maybe surrounding the city maybe going like this way maybe i need to zoom out a little uh, maybe surrounding the city like this way right and uh, we could also install a switch here and bring the power around here just surrounding our city but not inside the city because who wants high voltage lines inside your city and then from there we have these uh, transforming stations and they will bring it closer to the city and from there we can connect the substations that will then distribute the electricity to the houses and just to show you guys how it works like you can have a substation here and that one you don't need to lay cables for luckily because that <laughs> that would maybe overdo it with the micromanagement a little bit and that's by the way one great strength of this game that they just they just got it right um how far you need to micromanage and how far you can micromanage actually like the the power grid you really you could sink time into planning it I did a little bit off camera, but not too much, because, I mean, we can correct it. And that's part of the fun that you learn throughout the game. But you could sink time in planning it. But it's not too complex where you really need to connect every little household and you need to watch the voltage layers and you need to, like, if you import-export voltage, um, the net is actually quite fragile. It needs to be at a certain frequency and whatnot. That stuff, you don't need to worry about. But you do need to micromanage your high, low, and uh, middle and low voltage. And it's just, it's just the right amount. It's just perfect for my feeling anyway. Which the game just does so well. Unlike any other I've seen in that genre. Anyway, enough ranting. Let us get the power transform. I do want somewhat close to the roads as well. Um, and these things are not that expensive. 3,000, that is, that is okay. So that's a correctable mistake. If it turns out to be one. Maybe like... Here seems good. Take this high voltage. Come here. Come here. And bring it down here. Okay, so the power plant's connected. Our import export is connected. Uh, even though you can't see it, that's a little weird. Like if you zoom in here, can you see it? that shallow, light yellowish image? Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, even if I'm sitting directly in front of the monitor. But it's it's okay long as you can somehow see it now medium voltage and we're gonna start with our first electric substation maybe hmm. yeah, zoom in just a tad maybe around here seems good uh, can we go a bit further yeah I don't wanna I don't want it right next to the kindergarten that's a bit ugly so maybe just around here. And I think these got a 300 meter reach. Yeah, barely. 290. So we can build a couple more buildings here in the middle. And maybe one more block for workers. But then we are out of space. So we want to build it kind of close, but not too close. Like so. Seems good for me. And then we'll some medium voltage wires mm, can I directly put it here yeah let's just pull it to there now we do have medium voltage switches so we could yeah well we'll see maybe we'll bring this one out just a tad more like to here and then run towards the distribution stations here what are they called the electric substations with switches for now, though, I don't want to over-manage this. Um, and let's save a little money and build a gravel road to here. I think that's just enough. Maybe like so. Let's see. 
snow, and a nice curve here, and a nice curve here. Why can't I connect you? There we go. And then connect you, connect you. Okay. So now we got power here, power there, power everywhere. Those guys here, they also will need power, but they should be supplied by the power plant. Okay, let's have it run a minute and see what happens. Okay. Still constructing. Uh, our construction is going to take a minute, so let's explore how we can have power in the meantime. See, we could sell and we could import. So let's import just a little bit and we can see. Ooh, what are you doing? It's jumping. Okay, now it's settled at 0 0.09 megawatts. So that must mean... Yep, our buildings now have power. Excellent. There's workers. No sellers, but they're gonna come. Okay, the um, next thing we need to do these... Before we uh, go about taking this infrastructure into... Uh, into what do you call that? Uh, I was trying to directly translate from German, but that doesn't work. Um, before we get this infrastructure here running, we do need to supply our hungry workers with, uh, well, alcohol, of course, and some food and stuff to buy. Uh, and the way we can do that, at, well, before we can actually produce it, we can purchase resources using rubbles so we're gonna do that and uh, you can set here a minimum amount that will always be purchased and just approve the purchase and then we could also manually do it just purchase a like a bit of a stockpile for a start but yeah i don't know why you would ever do that so the way we're gonna do that is um just go pretty low like 1.5 tons have that on auto purchase. Actually, it was already on auto purchase like that, but just for uh, explaining it, I want to show you guys. Um, also, you don't have a road connection, is that right? That is right. And of course, you can't build it straight. Okay, that's gonna upset my uh, my OCD quite a bit sometimes, but whatever. We're gonna we're gonna survive, right? Okay. Um, so the same we're gonna do here. Uh, maybe a bit more food. The thing is you can't seamlessly like it has to be it can be two tons or 0 0.08 tons so yeah i think it's okay 0.4 tons yeah i think we'll leave it like that as long as there's food available okay and the warehouse you can uh, adjust we don't need that many electronics we would like more yeah we don't need many electronics uh, it's a bit weird without sliders, but we're gonna get it done. So mostly we want our food. Yeah, food and clothing. And then we have a bit of cold storage. Not much. So maybe we'll need some grocery stores, but for now that should be okay. Um, we just want a little bit of electronics, we don't need much. And a couple clothes. And mostly... Yeah, just have some food available there. Okay. That's it. So now we got a bus station, we got a, a pub where they can hang out, we got a shopping center, and uh, yeah, that's a good start. So, what next? Um, we do have a bus station, but we don't have buses. So that makes this thing rather useless. So what we need, I think, is under infrastructure and roads. Um, road vehicles depot. Indeed it is. How big are you? Not too big. Trolley bus. Oh, okay. That's okay. That's a different. We got parking lots, uh, but we don't really see any cars here yet. Yeah, we'll we'll see how that goes. Um, for now, we don't. We won't install parking lots. I first want to see the amount of traffic and get a bit of a feel for that before we start peppering everything with the littlest of details and then maybe it's too much. We'll just go with the rough brush strokes and then we'll adjust it as necessary. So a road depot, where's that gonna be? Um, the way I understand it, you buy cars in there or stuff. What was that circle-y thingy? Oh, that's a road connection here? Oh. 
Okay. Um, the way I understand it, you buy cars in there, and then there's uh, like a storage for maybe five or six cars that can sit there. Um, but as long as they are used somewhere, they don't have to sit in the depot. So that's my understanding. So I don't think we need like 10 depots for... Like each depot can hold five cars and then you need... If you want 10 cars, you need two depots. I don't think it works that way. So we're gonna find a little... We're gonna find a home for that. Um, just a little outside the village. Because it really is a depot. Um, maybe just here is okay. Hmm, next to the power lines there. What could be here? Yeah, we want, we might want some space over there left for the heating that we're gonna install down the road because the heating will take coal as well. So we might wanna shimmy it in here. And this is gonna be our heavy industry area, so I don't think we're gonna put the depot there. Um, I don't want it, yeah, we could put it just here maybe. It's not that expensive. Went 8,000 though. Yeah. It looks laughable now that we're sitting at 2 million, but... So here would be a nice home, but maybe we need something for the citizens. So maybe we'll just go with this position here for now. Oop. There we go. Okay, so now we can buy buses. Yeah, that seems okay. We can buy buses, we can... What are your demands so far? Nobody's complaining. One worker can't get to work because there's no kindergarten. Excuse me? That uh, I call bullshit on that one. There's no kindergarten or places available. Yeah, I call bullshit on that. <laughs> there are kindergartens available. Okay, now there's 80 workers that are waiting for work and there's no work. Building has no power supply, no resources. Oh, shoot. Okay. So we do need the power supply for these guys as well. I wasn't expecting that. I thought they were just going to be supplied by the... But yeah, that's that's a hen and an egg problem. Um, they're going to be supplied by the coal power plant. Though if the coal mine won't... Uh, not the coal mine. The ore refining plant won't refine some coal for the power plant to work it won't get power, and that way it can't refine coal, and that way the power plant can't work, and that way it won't refine coal, and loop forever. So, we need to solve that problem by buying some power. And that means we got to have a power transformer somewhere here as well. Uh, that sucks. Actually, we could run power from here to there, actually. Maybe we we'll rework that later a bit. Or we install a switch here. Yeah, I think that's that's the cleaner solution. Um, we'll go with a switch here. So first we need the high power... Oh, where is it? High voltage switch. I need access. Maybe so. Like so. Looks good. Okay, then we wasted some money building this. Um have a power transformer. Right here. Ah, no, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. Deconstruct. Okay. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have unpaused. I wanted to get rid of that building, but now we don't. We have a power outage in the, in the village. But it's okay. It's just uh, it's a Soviet Soviet Republic. So whatever. That I'm sure at the start there were some power outages. We're in the 1960s, Soviet Russia was beaten down by the war and in the middle of the Cold War. So there ought to be some problems. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
That's actually not that easy of a decision. We have the high power switch here. I think I need some space here, but yeah, whichever way we do it, it's going to be wrong, I feel. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> let's actually start with the power transformer first. Maybe that makes things a little easier. So we'll go here, because our industry, like this area here is, I feel dead for industry, because all of that hilly terrain is just annoying. So maybe we'll just build this thing right here next to the coal power plant. And we need to flatten the terrain first. So maybe here. Okay, build you there. Connect you up with a bit of gravel road. Oh, actually... No, 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 no. That doesn't work. That's not really connected to the gravel road, right? If we come around here... No, it's not really connected. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Uh, let's just go out here. there, up the hill, and in we go. Okay, that will be that, and then we need uh, some medium voltage wires and the substation. So the substation is going to be here with a road connection. Build our favorite medium wires, like so, like so. And then we're gonna have the high voltage here. Okay, so we do need the high voltage switch. Like here would be ideal, but then it's weird with the road. Well, it can be weird with the road, though. I mean, yeah, let's make it weird. So far we're still paused, just gotta remember not to unpause accidentally. Okay, that's connected. Connect you here, here, and here. Okay, that works. Now we just need a road connection. Can we go out here? We can. Just need to flatten the terrain a little. So, we need to come underneath here, that works, and then connect up here. Looks okay to me. Let's unpause and have it built. Oh yeah, but we do need some workers, that was the biggest thing. Um, oops. What happened? Okay, I thought the game crashed. No, we're still here. Some lag spike. Um, buy vehicle. Yeah, we're gonna buy vehicles. Uh, just out of curiosity, we could buy with dollars. We got uh, a West German harvesting machine. A French covered pickup. And some tanking whatever thingy. But of course we're not gonna do that. We're gonna buy with rebels. And uh, we need a bus. Soviet Union, Czechoslovakia, Ukraine, Poland, Soviet Union. Nice. Okay, let's see what these guys can do. Run 65 kilometers. How? F let's see, how fast is our road anyway? Gravel road is 60, okay. And we do have a gravel road up here. So we don't need the fastest bus for starters. 52 passengers, 40 passengers, 80 passengers, 65. Well, that's a candidate. And 60 passengers, 65. And it's one and a half thousand cheaper. I think we'll start with a 60 passenger capacity and go maybe with a three buses. That should be okay to supply these buildings here with workers. Good. So what we need now is a route. And for that, we'll pick 
the first bus and add some stations. So first you're gonna pick up workers here and you can uh, fine tune this in these menus here. So uh, you can unload everything here, whatever. But we don't want students or passengers in here. This is not a tourist area, this is for working. So pick up workers. Um, I don't think we need anybody with a university education here. Just basic and without education. Okay, that's stop number one. And we're gonna verify this just after I completed the route. Stop number two is gonna be this station here. Um, we're just gonna unload here. And then the mine. The building is not finished. Okay, let's finish the building first. Come on, guys. There we go. Okay, now finish here. And of course, we're gonna unload. And also just workers, just to be sure. Okay, that looks good. Let's close that menu and check out if we need university degree workers here. Uh, it doesn't show. And this one's also number of workers. Where does it tell me? Okay, let's see. Um, we have workers here. Doesn't really tell me we do need that much stuff, by the way. Yeah, 230 spots should be plenty. Um, doesn't really tell me. Okay, so we'll assume we're okay. Um, what? Why I'm doing this? I want to kill the chance because. The, well, let's first take a little X course. Um, the, the game works that way that you will, it will collect workers here like if they want to go work they will just collect here because there's buses transferring them somewhere to work the bus will then pick up all the workers it can um, and travel to this spot here or whatever route we put there and it will unload just a couple workers that can they will search their destination here and then it will travel up here unload the workers that are needed here and then carry all the workers back to the bus stop and uh, it doesn't really distinguish like it's not that only the workers that work here will board the bus, but just workers know there's going to be work here, so they will just board the bus, and the bus will then unload the ones that are needed. So if we take a big bus up here, it will just always carry like the 80 workers or 100 or however many fit in, um, if they're available, and just then there's going to be 20 unloaded here and maybe the rest into the mine. And uh, there could be, as far as I understand, it doesn't distinguish between education, so that's why you can do it in these settings here. Because we are centralized government, right? So nobody's gonna do anything unless we specifically tell them to. That's the beauty of socialism. And, well, I don't want my workers with university education digging coal. I want them available for other jobs here. So that's that's my theory anyway. The game's gonna wreck me anyway. But okay, so now we can, we can start this. Um, well, let's first copy the schedule on a couple other buses. There we go. And let's launch the first one and see what happens. There we go. Beautiful, the diesel fumes coming out here. That's exactly the way this looks. And there it goes. Taking the first load of workers up to the mines and we can begin construction. Ah, glorious. Not construction, we can begin harvesting coal ore. And let's see. Yep, he's loading up on workers. 60, full, and there we go. And now you can launch. Go. Oh, that's beautiful. I gotta say. Okay, we have 220 workers. Maybe that's a little much. Let's go 120 to start with. And there is our no workers, no resources. Awesome. There's our coal plant. Okay, so that one is uh, up the hill now. See, and he's just loading up 60 workers. No clue how many we need. Now we got 120 workers already on there. Um, and now you can start your drive as well. And he's also going to start, and there are still 30 workers, so we're going to bring up 150 workers. Let's check out. Here we got 15, 20, oh, well, that's actually just a perfect fit, no? We're 35 plus 120, so we're going to be at 155. Optimal, nice. Oh, what we forgot, um, built some footpath towards this building. So we should have done that. Oh, 
Can we? Yes, we can. Oh, awesome. Let's have the ability to cross here. Just in case. Where are you gonna walk? Oh, we forgot the road connection, right? Yeah. Whoopsie. Yeah. Alzheimer's is coming earlier than you think. Uh, let's hope we can still do that. Crossing is not allowed. Okay, that's because of this, I think. Cancel road. Can we specifically... No. Can we specifically cancel footpath? Yes, we can. Okay. There's uh, in, in every of these menus, there's a specific uh, deconstruct cancel button, whatever, for... Uh, oh no, yeah, we're gonna put this one. Here. And now it should be able to connect. Ooh, lucky. <laughs> okay, and now we can build a footpath towards there. Yeah, that's like so. Okay, so now they should be able to. Dum 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 dum. You saw nothing. <laughs> so now they should be able to go there in these paths and work. Da -da -da -da. It's glorious. They're even walking up here to the mines, though that's really not necessary. Hmm. Okay, so the bus is still driving up there. Huh. That doesn't work as intended. Though we could make our bus stations then... Yeah, we could optimize that a little bit. I'll put the footpath... Up here. Let's connect you guys here. There we go. And maybe then we can uh, kill that stop. It's not necessary. Okay, let's check it out. Now we got 80 workers here. They are producing coal ore. You are getting coal ore, you're producing coal. You are storing coal. Yes! And we're producing our own power! Ah, oh, glorious! But currently we're not really... Yeah, there's not much. Let us test that theory. Okay, so now we got... Import. Let's switch to selling. Bam! Now we should be selling one megawatt and the power plant should go up. Let's sell three. And it goes up to three! Oh, that is awesome. Could increase with this. Ah. Okay. Ah, you can reduce the... Okay, so one, one unit here is six workers, but we can bring it out there. So it's more. Ah, it's every worker icon here is one worker. But Anyway, that is awesome. How far can we go up? I don't want to overdo it. And first of all, no, 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 no. Before we fiddle with that, we can check that out next time. Let's check our illuminated city over here. Isn't that great? The bus is driving, bringing the workers up here to the coal mines. Everything's illuminated by power that we generated our own. Our workers tirelessly fetching the ore from the mountain. It's converted here into coal. And the power plant is running on that coal. And it uh, looks like we're going to build up quite the stockpile. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Uh, I think that's a great success for this episode. So I'm going to pause it here. And uh, next episode, we'll first of all check if this is running smoothly. How many workers we got. Oh, children can't go to school. Well, there's a project. And uh, then see that our people are happy here and then start improving and building up on our city. Because after we got energy, the next thing is we need energy for our workers, right? They need a good potato in their stomach and a vodka in their glass so they can work and dig up coal. And that's going to be the next project over the next couple episodes. Until then, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and uh, see you around for the next episode.